Hey guys, Jeff Smith here from HireTrustMarketing.com. Just taking a few moments out of uh, my day where I'm working on some updates to our uh, InfoProductCreator.com ebook. Uh, always doing something, always working on some product development each week, and uh, I hope you're doing the same. A couple of questions that came up this week. I've been doing a lot of coaching calls this week, one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching calls, but answering some emails, uh, some forum posts in the InfoMarketerZone.com site, and I'm it. This theme came out loud and clear this week, and I think that a lot of people are probably struggling with the same question, and that is trying to understand uh, why the techniques that they're using, you know, whether it be information product development or information product marketing, e-commerce marketing, doing any kind of business online, there seems to be a lot of confusion where people get mixed up around the techniques um, the, the technical tools that are available and the fundamental business principles that underlie all successful marketing online. So, for example, I had uh, one um, a senior lady that came to me saying, I love to write, I love to research things, I've got a whole lifetime of knowledge. Here's, uh, and she laid out four different ideas, any one of which I know will sell, because we've been in some of those markets ourselves or I know other people that have products selling in those markets. And what's been holding her back all this time is she's afraid of the technical side of things. She says, well, I don't really understand what a blog is. I don't really know how to get a website up. I don't know how to take payment online. You know, all of these questions about the technical side, assuming that she can't do this business because she can't get past any of those technical hurdles. Nothing's further from the truth. The technology doesn't really matter at the end of the day. And really, at the end of the, uh, fundamentally, at the end of the day, the web itself doesn't really matter in the sense that, yes, it's a great way to reach people. It's a cost-effective way to reach people um, and, and more people, billions of people all the time. And it's a cost-effective way to distribute your product. So it does matter in that sense. But really, the fundamental business principles of packaging information into reports, eBooks, uh, membership sites, into uh, home study courses, into teleseminars and webinars, you know, this is really at its core the ability to help people answer their questions, help people move from point A to point B to point C to point D in their lives. And, you know, it boggles my mind when I get people that, that don't feel that they have the knowledge or the capability of helping someone. Well, we help people every single day. Think of all the questions that we answer in a given day. Think of the, you know, sometimes the pain we go through to either research problems to help our kids grow up or to research problems uh, for people that we might work with or for, research problems to get over hurdles in our own business, um, research problems when we come up with a health challenge, right? All of those things, we've got that body of knowledge or at least areas of interest where we can go and acquire that knowledge that can be easily packaged into reports or eBooks. And so, don't get hot up, caught up in the technology. The technology is just a means to deliver uh, all that powerful information. At the end of the day, people want answers to problems. They want, uh, um, they want to increase the amount of pleasure in their life. They want to achieve a certain goal. And to do that, on the other hand, they want to get over the frustrations. They want to beat the obstacles down that are in their way and they will pay for information that helps them get there. Okay, so remember that. So the first thing that I tell people, and the other set of questions I've had this week are, I've tried setting up a blog, I've tried uh, pay-per-click ads, I've tried setting up a website, I've tried um, marketing affiliate products, I've tried marketing ClickBank products. I've got these ton of questions from people that say, you know, I've tried this and it hasn't worked. So what am I doing wrong? Has the advice that I've gotten, is it bad? You know, should I look for new, for, uh, new techniques? Or, or am I using those, those technologies in the wrong way? Well, my answer to most of those is no. That's not the problem. Any one of those techniques will work for you. We know, we've used it. We've got them in, in multiple businesses online. We use those techniques right now. We know they're working. Okay, the fundamental problem is you haven't found a key market, a key demand, and met and, and created a message that meets that demand in the marketplace. So if you're struggling, if you haven't been able to reach people using your blog yet, if you haven't been able to get people to visit your website, if you haven't been able to sell your product or someone else's product, then 
it's not necessarily the technology you should be looking for. Yes, there are right and wrong ways to use the technology, but at the core of it, you've got to make sure that you have a customer avatar. You understand your prospect in your market. You know exactly what motivates them. What do they want? And why do they want it? Not just what, you know, somebody might want to lose 10 pounds, but why is it that they want to lose that 10 pounds? Is it that, you know, is it an exp uh, a mother that just delivered a baby that's trying to get back to a life that she knew before she had that baby and was afraid that she'd lose her friends or afraid that she'd lose that social contact with the world? Uh, afraid that someone will look at her as older or not the same person. You know, those are fundamental emotional feelings that people have. Now, it, it could be a middle-aged man that wants to lose uh, the love handles. Maybe his issue is he's going through a midlife crisis and he wants people to look at him as young. He doesn't want to age. He's afraid to age. There's a fear there, a brutal fear. And so you want to target that in your marketing. So, and, and you know, that goes for your blog posts, that goes for your articles, the way your website's structured. Everything about how you market your product in, it dictates how it sells. It's not the platform that you use, right? So get the message right, get the market right, get the demand right, get a product to fulfill it, then you can start looking at using the technologies. Don't jump from technology to technology to technology thinking that one of these technologies holds the magic bullet. It doesn't work that way, right? Y you will know, once you, when you get the right target market and you get the right message and the right product into that target market, you're going to know that people want it. Now, then you want to scale up. So maybe you only sell a couple a week because you're only getting 50 or 60 visitors to your website. That's an easy problem to solve. Once you know that it sells and that for every you know, couple hundred people that come to your site, you're selling one or two of these, of these e-books or these books or reports or whatever you're selling, that's a much easier problem to solve. Then we can talk about scaling it into different platforms. But if right now you've got a website up and you've had 500, 600, 700 visitors up there, and you haven't sold a thing, then there's a more fundamental problem. It's not going to be solved by jumping to different technologies. So I hope, I hope you understand the difference there. It's a very fundamental problem. And until, until you can use, leverage the market and identify demand and need in the market and fulfill that with a, a, a product and a message that matches that need, right? It, it, that's the first step. That's what everyone here watching this should be working on right now if you don't have a business online that is working the way you want it to. Is look at your target market, look at the demand within that target market, look at how well you fulfilled that, that demand, and then you know fix that, because that's what's broken. And once you fix that, you know world's your oyster. Things will really take off from that point on. You'll be amazed, you get that right, and you'll be amazed at how easy it is to start to make sales and to get to that next level and get publicity and get word of mouth marketing and get people resonating with your blog and participating in your blog, all of that comes so much easier if you can get that right demand. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Comment against this if you have any questions on that specific issue uh, or on this video. We love to hear your comments, we'll answer your questions on the blog post as well. And uh, we'll talk to you soon, bye bye for now.